Yeah, that's right, Tim. A lot of news coming out of Providence Park, that's for sure. We can tell you that Rian Wilkinson posted a statement on social media, and she says that she and a Thorns player formed a friendship that turned into more complex emotions. We can tell you that Wilkinson actually reported herself to the Human Resources uh, Department to make sure she wasn't crossing any ethical lines. And she adds that as soon as players found out about this, they asked her for her resignation, and she agreed to it. Portland. This was the scene out east just a month ago. The Portland Thorns winning a third National Women's Soccer League championship. But that elation you see has since worn off. The club now finds itself without a leader. Head coach Rian Wilkinson announcing her resignation Friday. There's just so many layers to all of this. Meg Linehan covers women's soccer for The Athletic. The senior writer says the sudden resignation from stems from Wilkinson's relationship with Thorns player Emily Menges. The two of them did tell me we hung out one on one in three settings. They said, you know, as friends. And then by mid-October, both said, you know, there was this expression of feelings via text messages. Linehan says Wilkinson turned over those messages and emails to the club and league. They showed her relationship with Mengus never turned physical. It was ultimately determined Wilkinson did not violate any sort of policies. But keeping her position as head coach was a different story. Essentially, she has lost the, the trust and confidence of the rest of the team and is unable to move forward in the role. Wilkinson's resignation comes just one day after Thorns owner Merritt Polson announced he was selling the club. This was due in large part to a months long investigation that revealed a toxic culture of sexual, emotional and verbal abuse within the Thorns organization. The coach at that time, Paul Riley, was to blame for a lot of it. But the investigation also showed patterns of misconduct by Polson, who earlier this week addressed the situation with sports columnist and radio show host John Canzano. Certainly it's been a painful year and a growing year. I've never been more challenged than I have over this last year. A year that culminates in the resignation of Thorns coach Rian Wilkinson, to which Meg Linehan of The Athletic says trust must be rebuilt. No easy task. There is a very, very large project ahead, and I don't think it's an impossible one, but I think it is one where it's not going to be solved in the span of a year. It's impossible to do that. And for a moment, I want to circle back to that uh, statement on social media from Rian Wilkinson. She says that she leaves the club in good hands and she thanks the fans, saying they have set and continue to set the standard for support in the women's game. And Tim, tell you what, that's going to be a big selling point for a club that's now looking for an owner and a head coach. That is